Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you a solution for secure boot in CC boot and when you try to boot secure boot mode in CC boot currently you will get something like this um, invalid signature detected error and this is due to the pixie file not being uh, not having the proper signature required for secure boot and I'll show you how to resolve this first of all in the BIOS we will have to add a certificate file and to do that yeah, we have to go to secure boot currently it's enabled and standard change this to custom and go into key management and you'll see here three options platform key key exchange and authorized signature you can add the certificate file in any of these three uh, but uh, let's be sure and let's add it to all of them you have to click on no and then choose your usb drive in which the certificate file is choose public key and then click yes okay now go to key exchange append no choose public key yes and then platform key update no certificate and click yes uh, the reason i'm doing this is sometimes one of uh, any of these three is not added then it may fail to boot again uh, this depends on the bias that you have currently i have uh, active sorry uh, ami bias uh, amd ami bias so for this i needed to add to at least two of these uh, so just to be sure i added down all three of them but uh, adding to authorized signature should be more than enough so afterwards let me save the bias save changes and sorry let me okay, let me just save changes for now uh, let me go into cc boot as we have to do one more step in order to support the disk class boot um, as you can see here i have ipx file efi uh, selected but the default ipx efi does not work and you need to add a custom efi file which I have here in the desktop copied copy to TFTP file once it is copied close the folder open CC boot stop it once and then start again now once the CC boot service has started you can go to the client PC and save changes and reset again and this will now put it in secure boot mode and okay it's taking pixie as you can see the PXE file is recognized properly as it has the proper signature and it's starting to boot now Currently, this is the only way you can make Secure Boot work with any sort of Dixless program as Microsoft does not by default provide any signed IPXE file. Um, the IPXE org are trying to get the SNP only .efi file uh, that they compile signed by the Microsoft so that it can be supported by any and all uh, PCs that uh, support UEFI Mm, boot you are ufi pxc boot uh, but for now this is the only way that you can have uh, ufi secure boot uh, working in any dixless program so let me open ms info sorry ms info 32 and you can see here uh ufi and this is secure boot mode enabled uh, the ISO that I'm using right now is uh, Russian uh, the reason I'm using this ISO is it's very small and you can see for yourself the whole windows it's just five sorry uh, the reason that I'm using this ISO is um, that it's very small the entire installation is just under 3 GB and the reason it's uh, 5.38 GB is because of the um, Sorry. Mm, mm, 
because of the ah sorry base file base file and other files that are increasing the size of it uh, anyways so mm, that's about it uh, this is how you make the windows boot in secure boot mode with cc boot and this can be applicable to any and all disk less program that support custom pxe file or no, like changing the pxe file to uh, the one that you can copy it. Uh, if you want these files uh, DM me or you can reach out to me in WhatsApp uh, I'll have the link in the description below and thank you for watching stay tuned for a video with the Windows 11 uh, image I do have Windows 11 image but uh, currently it's getting stuck at uh, logo because one of the driver is not working let me show you uh, let me change the image to Windows 11 here and reset the PC. Okay, so I'm going to STMI and I haven't changed anything, so just uh, watch. It's taking the pixie file and it's starting to boot now. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 is now trying to boot. Um, it's getting stuck here because the NIC driver that I'm that I have added is not uh, taking my NIC uh, that I have in this PC. It's a 2.5 GB NIC, so I need to use a s different image. Uh, stay tuned for new videos once I fix this uh, NIC driver issue. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.